What's up everybody? Crypto Muscle coming back to you with another YouTube video. And it's been a while since I've done any sort of DApps update. So I figured today is a good day to talk about the ETH DApps and um, what's been going on with DApps. I'll include Hex. And the last thing I'll talk about is Ace Wins because it's concerning their DApp and then their platform. So Real quickly, uh, Cypher Bank was the latest one that was talked about in my last video, which was two weeks ago that I did on dApps. And uh, it was just the beginning at that time. And it was already e eight ETH in the contract. And as you can see, it's only six right now. So that means that this thing is dead on arrival. It's dead. Nothing going on with this thing. So just kind of pointing this out. Um... You know, if you want to take your chance on this, that's on you. But to me, it's DOA, dead on arrival. So uh, that is Cypher Bank. Nothing really special about it. It's just another dap in the diluted dap space. So let's see. I'm going to move on. And let's see here. Diamond Dividends, 163 ETH. Uh, it's had a, let's see. Since the last time I did an update, about two weeks ago, it was at 161, then went up to 163, 164, 163. So it's been a, a slow, steady increase once again. Um, I guess if you want to call this a healthy growth, I mean, I, I don't know. I'm not one to know. I'm not an expert at these things and charts and all that, but... You know, it's been a steady growth, no decline. If anything, I think it's just based on uh, the value of ETH in general, and it's gone up uh, over the last couple of weeks, obviously. Um, and again, uh, this is one of the, I guess, an, an improved version of, of uh, Blue Chip Fund uh, with marketing tools and all that, and and most of the people uh, jumped ship from Blue Chip Fund to here. So, uh, yeah, you got the vault and all that here. And, uh, you know, pretty much uh, just, it's like a, a, it's almost like Blue Chip Fund, but, but version 2 or better, you know, I guess you could say so. That's uh, Diamond Dividends. And uh, let's see here, I'm going to move on to... One of the well-known names since because they came out with ADAP last year is, or I guess you say now two years ago now, um, Daily Divs. Daily Divs is at 167 ETH in the contract. I think that's on a decline because uh, I recall this being more. So let's take a look at this graph here. So... Last I checked, I'm just going to go from where I was at here two weeks ago. Uh, I was at 193, and then it people probably cashed out at 174, and now it's at 167, which is where it's currently at right now, right? Yep, 167. So it's been on a decline, uh, as all dApps people get kind of bored and you know, you're not really making a ton of money with dApps because uh, it'll hit its initial uh, run. And after that, games temporarily keep it alive. And then after that, um, that's pretty much it, you know. it's uh, That's just the way the dApps are. And that's why they call it a zero-sum game because in the end, uh, if you don't get out quick enough, then uh, then it's over zero sum for you so uh that's uh daily divs um there hasn't been anything new on updates i could take a quick look here but i don't think i read i recall reading anything new or different in the updates here over in the discord yeah so yeah nothing really new going on um, seems like they're trying to add more games to it, but whatever. 
So uh, now moving on to blue chip fund. This thing has been on a dying decline once again. It had a little spike, uh, I guess, because someone dumped some, or I guess Marty, I don't know if it was Marty, that dumped some ETH in here. But uh, it's gone back down again, now it's back down to 79, and this might be the true uh, death coming finally to Blue Chip Fund. Which I'm just waiting for this to go away for good. Um, unless Marty somehow finds a way to... Uh, uh, keep it alive some way somehow, but he's already lost the community to Diamond Dividends. Let's see here. Yeah, it was two weeks ago when he came back. But uh, that's about it. I mean, I don't know. There hasn't been anything else going on with Blue Chip Fund except for that little infusion. And then it's gone once again. And so, going into Gandhiji, it's been consistently steady in the 1400 range. Uh, I went to the low, low 14, and then now it's back up to 1414. Um, just a couple days ago, it was at a dollar and one on the USD on the buy price. Now it's down to 99 cents, and that's probably just based on um, ETH, ETH value right now at 180. Um, so, yeah, this is. Hidden uh, just about two years now, being out there in the DAP space. So, what else, what other DAP besides P3D is still out there? Is uh, this one right? Other than that, I mean, what else is there? And uh, just keep moving on here. Ether Bank, part of the Pyra Bank family. I mean, what else does Pyra Bank have? I mean, there's so much Pyra and everything. You know, Tron, Hex, ETH, Hypertron, it's all part of this whole Pyra Bank community, but whatever. Uh, this thing's on a huge decline as well, 105 ETH in this contract. So this thing is going to be dying because this is just based on uh, a stable coin value. Nobody cares, that's why there's no growth in it. How do you get growth in this thing? It's just buying in and out of this platform but there's no sort of way to actually gain dividends right if you really think about it because it's based on stable coin value so that's why this thing is dying it's going to go away that's what i'm waiting for as well and uh speaking of which i'm going to talk about hex real quick see what's going on with hex uh it's now at day 60 and uh People are just giving away their ETH to this thing. I, I don't get why. Um, but it's, except for this one day here of only 600,000. Uh, it's been hitting 1 million uh, hex every day up until day 53. And then it's down into the 900 range, 800 range, 700, 800 range here, a thousand. And uh, this one's at, wow, it says 3.7 million hex. So we'll see how this thing closes, closes another hour. But people are just giving away their, their ETH over here. Let me look at this. Hundreds and hundreds of ETH going into Richard Hart's pocket. And uh, and you're betting on and hedging on something that may not be, but whatever. Uh, I, I'm glad I'm not in this thing because uh, you're going to end up with empty pockets on this thing. So now uh, you got Pyra Bank Hex. Pyra Hex. This thing's on a huge decline. Uh, it's only has 531 million Hex, uh, which equates to 525 million pyrohex but this is on a huge decline right now people are just pulling out their hex um i don't know why but again you're playing around with with satoshis so yeah keep playing with satoshis because uh there's really zero risk get it right zero risk on it so uh yeah that's that and uh let's see last one i wanted to talk about is ace wins i want to reverse what usually i talk about ace wins first 
Um, so first off, there was a 50 ETH deposit made by somebody put into this contract. So it's raised the contract up 50 ETH. Uh, there's really not much going on in that regard besides that all of a sudden huge deposit. Here we go. See, so it was at 314 and spiked up to 370. Okay, so there was a 60, uh, 55 ETH deposit. And now it's down to 366. And then I wanted to post the latest announcement from Ace Winds since uh seems like the ace wins dap has kind of gotten lost in the shuffle in the mix and uh they made an announcement this morning on what they're going to be doing and uh let me see here so from ace himself uh, uh he posted this morning, uh, he's planning on launching another P3D kind of token and merge it with the DICE, uh, which is part of the platform of the Ace Winds. Uh, but this P3D kind of token will not get in any divs like the regular clones, so they will act like an ERC20 token with the inbuilt exchange. The price will not increase or decrease like P3D. People can buy the tokens and use to play DICE and cash it to ETH from the DAP, whatever they want. Uh, this will be a standalone token for playing DICE and future Blackjack 2. You buy the tokens from the smart contract and send it to DICE and play. If you want to withdraw, request a withdraw, blah, blah, blah. So if you start DICE with BTC, um, it should have a, a big bankroll. But if you do it like this, he could pre-mine uh, for 10 ETH and get a bunch of tokens, which would be used for bankroll. Uh, any... He's pretty sure that the price of the token will surely go higher as it's the same P3D formula, but with a stabilized algorithm. No dis for the token, but people can make profit from the price hike. Dice and other games would be proper utility, and he's sure that it will go bigger. Uh, he thought well and feel that this is a good idea. The launch of this dApp in four days, followed by the dice. Uh, dice security reports are given. Uh, there's still a little bit of XSS uh, vulnerability and serious security related bugs in the DICE. Uh, they have some changes. They'll do that and go live. So they said they apologize for the delay. And uh, he's sure that it's perfect when it goes live. First, he'll launch the DAP. Ace Wins community can take advantage of it and buy the tokens first at the low price. A couple of days after that, the DICE will go live. So it sounds like it's kind of going in a different direction in terms of this thing, as in it might be gone, or it's not the focus anymore of anything. And it's just kind of adding an element to the Ace Wins platform um, with this new DAP. So uh, this wasn't addressed as to what is going to happen to this DAP as he was talking about a different dap and how you get you know earnings from that so that was something that was uh it kind of created a huge discussion in this forum this morning but in the end um it looked like everybody's on the same page with it now There's a little bit of confusion in the beginning on how people would still get any sort of uh uh, you know, money, you know, I guess revenue or not revenue, but returns from it, I guess. And so, uh, but everybody seems to be on board that, uh, for the ace wins tokens in order to get something, you know, you got, you know, you just got to go into this thing. So I don't know if this thing is going to be abandoned, but possibly unless, uh, OG or ace can clear that up. So that's what I wanted to talk about in this latest update on the direction of that platform and this DAP itself. And everything else I talked about today and all the different DAPs here. So uh, zero sum game, I guess you could say. And uh, comment down below. Let me know what you think. You know, I'm, I'm just all about platforms and all that and and stuff and DAPs. I've been pretty much out. I, this is like the last of my DAP here right here. So which is really nothing uh, if you look at it. So other than that, I will see you in the next one.